Lauren is the most lovable, sensitive, bright child that, that I could have imagined her to be. Her life is a miracle. The fact that she can eat is a miracle. That her heart beats the way it should is a miracle. I can't explain why all of the things that could have happened to her didn't happen to her. I can only say that it was a miracle. We uh, got pregnant and we were very excited to uh, be pending parents. We had absolutely no reason to assume that it was gonna be a less than perfect experience. Now, Nikki was young, she's healthy. She came in early for her prenatal care. She didn't have any significant risk factors that we thought would um, predispose her to preterm labor or preterm delivery. Um, she did everything like she was supposed to do. Pregnancy is not a necessarily a benign process, and I think a lot of people go into pregnancy thinking that everything is going to be healthy and normal for 40 weeks, and at the end of it, they're going to have a healthy, normal baby. And for the majority of women, that's going to happen. But I think it's very important for people to understand that there are things that can happen that may cause them to have an early delivery. Lauren was born at 26 weeks. Uh, she was two pounds, one ounce, and 14 and a half inches long, and she was in the NICU for roughly five months. It was a long time. Being born at 26 weeks, I knew that there would be medical problems. We knew that her lungs were, wasn't fully mature, and um, she had a feeding issue. Some days would be good, some days would be not so good, and you have to be prepared for that. We had certain music that we would play for her, and when we would leave and we would turn that music on, she would start to cry. And so that made us, you know, uh, quite honestly, um, lose it. I remember just sitting at her bedside and crying and holding her and thinking, you know, when will my child be able to come home? It's just, you know, you're sitting at your child's bedside and someone else gets to go home, and your child is still there, and you're just like, well, they get to go home, why can't I go home? It's a month, I'm ready to go home, it's two months. I'm ready to go home, it's three months. I'm ready to go home, it's four months. I'm ready to go home. I'm tired of my child being in this hospital. I'm ready for her to come home. It was difficult, but it was our reality. We just said, well, let's learn about what do people do when they're in these situations. Let's reach out, let's be an outreach for others who may go through it. Let's be prepared for this crisis because that's what it is. And let's be prepared to do by whatever means necessary uh, to make the situation, uh, make it through. To look at Lauren and to see her now, she has blossomed. She has completely defied the odds. She loves writing, she loves reading. Just all of the things that remind you of any normalcy that a child would have. She has it, she experiences it, and she is now in a place where she can really enjoy life. Lauren is an amazing little girl. She is so bright, so fun. We certainly have bonded together over the last few years getting Lauren what she needs as far as a premature baby, but also taking care of two wonderful siblings. I went on to have two subsequent pregnancies that were very successful. My physician was able to give me a cerclage. I was able to take progesterone injections and deliver in the 39th week. Our family is able to say that our first child was preterm, but our second and our third children were full term. The best thing that could ever happen was that we figure out what causes prematurity. But unfortunately, it's so multifactorial. A lot of times we don't know what is the cause of prematurity. We need someone with the credibility of the March of Dimes out there talking about this because this is something that's very important is prevention of prematurity. Our gratitude to the March of Dimes is beyond what I can express. All the support that's given, the laws that are passed, a lot of the research that has been done by the March of Dimes has helped to educate physicians about things that can be done to help prevent preterm births. I get so excited to talk about the March of Dimes. Today, to see Lauren, how she thrives, and to know that the March of Dimes had a part in that. 
it certainly gives a different meaning to all of the volunteering I had done over the years. My employer had major walk teams. My fraternity had a major partnership. March of Dimes is very real. They're uh, serious about their cause and the dollars that are being raised uh, through the March for Babies walks are extremely important. This is a volunteer opportunity uh, like none other for all to become involved. And so I tell people now that we are the National Ambassador family, I tell them to encourage other people to support the March of Dimes, to be the face of the March of Dimes, and to be able to speak to thousands of people about how Lauren has benefited from the March of Dimes is come full circle. I think now is a great opportunity to tell the world about our story. Others that are coming behind us will know that there is a positive outcome and we're just excited about being able to share that with the world. Thank you for supporting Mark of Dimes and the Babies.